Hello, my name is Patricia Green and I'm an instructor here at the Oval School in Arlington and today I will be training you on the uniformly layered form. This is also known as the layered cut or the 90 degree angle cut. We will be going over the characteristics of the uniformly layered form as well as the selfing sculpting procedures and the sculpting guidelines. The shape of the uniformly layered form is round. This shape also has no weight and it parallels around the curve of the head. The texture in the uniformly layered form is an activated texture and the structure is equal. All the lengths are equal around the entire head. When we are sculpting the layered form, there are seven sculpting procedures. When sectioning the hair, we will be using four subsections. We will also be using a center panel and a perimeter hairline. The head position when sculpting the uniformly layered form is upright and when we part the hair we will be using horizontal partings in the top of the head and we'll be using vertical or pivotal partings on the sides and in the back. We will be using a perpendicular distribution and we will be projecting the hair at 90 degrees from the curve of the head. Our finger and shear position will be parallel. It will be parallel to the head as well as parallel to the parting. We will be working with a mobile design line today and we will also be using a pivotal and vertical mobile design line. We want to make sure we keep our mobile design line and able to see it by taking thin partings throughout the sculpture. When beginning this sculpture, we're going to start and we're going to divide the hair into four sections. We're going to have a center front hairline that goes through the crown and from the crown to the center nape. And then we're going to have a line that goes across the apex from the top of each ear. We're also going to release a perimeter hairline along the entire perimeter. We will position our client upright. The head will be upright and we will sculpt a solid form design using a notching technique. For the perimeter, we will be using a natural distribution and we're going to sculpt the horizontal line at the center, just below the lip at the center front hairline. And we're going to sculpt each side along a diagonal back line working toward the center back. Once we get the perimeter finished, we're going to take a center panel in the front and we're going to sculpt a center panel to establish another length guide. We will start at the center front hairline. We're going to project the hair at 90 degrees from the curve of the head, position our fingers parallel to the head, and we're going to sculpt uniform lengths from the front hairline to the crown. Once we get to the crown, we're going to continue the same center panel starting from the crown to the nape. We're also going to continue our perpendicular distribution. We're going to keep the hair elevated at a 90 degree projection. We're going to keep our parallel finger position. And when we get to the nape, we're going to use our palm up hand position in the nape area. When we begin sculpting the sides, we're going to sculpt the front right side and we're going to create a uniform length by using the top panel and a perimeter as the guide. We're going to use vertical partings and we're going to use a perpendicular distribution. We're going to elevate the hair at 90 degrees and we're going to use a parallel finger position and we're going to do this from the top to the bottom using a notching technique. We're going to work our way back on the right side of the head using the same procedures. And we're going to subdivide the partings for control. We're going to use our mobile design line. And you're going to make sure that you blend each parting to the perimeter form line. Once we get the right side done, we're going to cross check the lengths by using the opposite parting technique. And if you see anything that needs to be 
refined, you're going to go back to your original parting to do your refining. Then we're going to repeat the same steps on the left side using the notching technique. We're going to use our vertical partings, perpendicular distribution, our 90 degree projection, and a mobile design line. When we begin to sculpt the back left section, we're going to use pivotal partings and we're going to use our perpendicular distribution. We're going to use our 90 degree elevation and our parallel finger position. We will be using a mobile design line and we're going to sculpt from the top of the nape. We're going to sculpt from the top toward the nape using a notching technique and we're going to use the center panel as our length guide. When we get to the nape area, we're going to use our palm up hand position. We're going to work from the center left side using the same sculpting procedures from the pivotal partings. We'll then repeat the same procedures from the center to the right side, maintaining our 90 degree elevation and our parallel finger position. We will do this and complete the sculpture. We will also cross check using the opposite parting system and if we see anything that needs to be cross checked and trimmed, we'll go back to the original parting. Once the sculpture is completed, we can style out the client using our hot tools, flat irons, blow dryer, round brush. This is a very versatile style and it can be worn straight or curly.